for her. Remember, we've got three Russians in this final group, two skaters from France and then a Swiss skater. So here we go, hang on to your hats, the final group in the ladies short program and what better way to get us started than from the defending European champion, the reigning Olympic champion. She's only 16 years of age, former Russian national champion, only managed a fifth place finish this year. We wish her well, Alina Zagitova of Russia, Phantom of the Opera, the music. Seem to be any nerves there. Triple loops, triple loop. Top draw stuff. Lovely edge work, relaxed presentation. Really difficult entry into that double axle. Well, we're into a different league now. That was sensational. Before she came out onto the ice, I uh, hinted that she struggled with the pressure, struggled with the nerves this season. She said when she first came out, she'd got nothing to lose. It, uh, it all seemed quite easy. But then when there's that air of expectation on yeah. your shoulders, yeah, it's yeah. a different ball game. And she handled the pressure very, very well. One thing's for sure, we've got a new leader now, Alina Zagitova of Russia. Yeah, and something behind the scenes which really makes a difference here. I thought a fabulous, fabulous compilation of that music. Great edits that allowed for the different elements and the different parts of the program to breathe and have emphasis. It was grandiose and then it pulled back and then it was building again and and it takes a lot to put the music together within the two minutes, 40 seconds. Make that happen. Well done, guys, who put the music together and the overall structure. She has to deliver, and the coach and the choreographic team do all that with her. But if you mess it up on the music, there isn't that framework that encompasses everything. And there was masterfully done. Beautiful performance. 
know one thing's for sure she's got herself in the frame now to defend her title she's had a great season so far won the Nebelhorn trophy won in Helsinki she won the Roth Telecom Cup in Moscow runner-up in the Grand Prix finals but uh, that was some performance Nikki in the short program here in Minsk and here's that entry into the double axle making it difficult on purpose so those grade of execution marks go up. The judges have to recognize that. And that's what can make the difference. Yeah, transitions in and out of every single jump pass. Just that triple flip was a bit dicey. Watch, she gets a bit of a lean on that right side here. Think of me. Whoa, that was close, wasn't it? <laughs> Kept it off, I think. Yeah, I think she did. And I loved the, the way that even within such a short space of time, it was able to breathe in the step sequence. She looked relaxed in that presentation. Makes a tremendous difference to the audience, everybody watching, to be able to deliver the difficult technical elements and the steps as though you're not thinking about it. It's amazing, isn't it? This is only her second season as a senior. It's great, absolutely great. Well, there's the team, and uh, what a super job they've done here. They prepared really, really well for these European Championships. She can breathe a sigh of relief. We've always said it, you can't win the championship on the short program, but you sure as heck can lose it. And uh, she's lost nothing there. Right, it's going to be huge. She's got a personal best of 80.78. You'd imagine it's going to be high 70, 75 points there. They've left uh, a little bit of room. There's no doubt about that. 38.60, they're uh, doing the calculations. You can see she's 10 points ahead at the moment, but this is a very tough final group. She'll have to sit and wait this one out and see what happens.